We're in subtropical lowland rainforest on the northeast coast of New South Wales in Australia. And we've been through the driest year on record. It's quite a severe drought in a lot of places. I've never seen this rainforest as dry as it is now. Normally we'd be sitting in the middle of a creek. But two days ago it rained. So we're out here looking for the first flush of rain. Ooh, look what we've got here. Beautiful log full of auricularia. It's called that for fairly obvious reasons. It looks like an ear. And there's a couple of different species at least, maybe, maybe even three, but certainly two different species here, all mixed in. There's this one which is dark, and there's this one which I think is auricularia delicata and has a, a crinkled surface Underneath it's quite crinkled, it's quite transparent, it's quite a pretty fungus. It's an edible fungus in many parts of the world. It's a very popular fungus for cultivating because all you need is some um, dead wood or sawdust, in fact, and mix it up and the fungus will grow. People particularly like to eat it because it does come in different colours. You've got this dark browny red form, there's a black form, there's a white form. They really can be quite high in protein as well, so they're a very useful supplement to anyone's food. And they look terrific in salads. Even though we know these are edible overseas, we wouldn't recommend eating the ones you find in the forest here until we're absolutely certain that they are the same species. But it's a beautiful find. 